Koto Katoa. No more hiding my kiwa tapu. Kura welcome to our tapu from Wadwit. Power you to utilize the geothermic features from this area for such things as bathing, cooking, healing, and they've been doing so for thousands of years. Now with that we'll get started with the story of Lady Knox. Back in the 1800s, there was approximately 150 active geysers in this area. If we fast forward, the number dwindles down to 15, Lady Knox being one of them. Now just when we parked your car this morning was New Zealand's first open prison camp. Now the prisoners sent there were required to do manual labour in clearing this area of bush and shrubbery. Now as they were clearing this area, they came across a hot spring, much to one down there. Now being these hot springs, so they decided they grabbed some soap and they grabbed their clothes and they came down after a hard day's work and stripped down and started washing their clothes in the hot spring and naturally washing themselves. Now legend says one of the prisoners dropped a vase open. Whether that happened, we'll never know until someone invents a time machine. So, they were washing their clothes and suddenly the hot spring started to bubble. And bubble. And can you guess what happened? It erupted! Sending their underwear all up in the air and naked prisoners running up in all directions. Now, apparently I'm here to recreate that for you. So in this bag in front of me, which is what we call a kitty, I have a soap called surfactant. Now it's the most environmentally form of soap you can get. There's no perfume, no added chemicals, nothing like that. So in a few minutes, what I'm going to do is I'll pop the soap down the mouth of Lady Knox and that will thus induce her eruption. Hot spring to this. The prisoners, they were bored. They were very bored. So they got rocks from around the area and decided to build up around the hot spring to form a chimney. Now, over time, as she erupted, then the water came down silica, oh, sorry, the wind and the sun would evaporate the water, leaving a mineral called silica. Now it's responsible for her shape and her colour today. Now her name. Her name comes from a lady, Lady Cotson Knox, who was the daughter of Lord Ranfilly. Now he came to visit the prison back in 1903. Naturally he brought his family, because it's a family holiday visiting a prison. So he brought his family down and the prisoner showed him the geyser. His daughter, Lady Constantinox, christened it. And that's how the association came about. So in a few minutes, you should start to see bubbles. So other places you can find geysers. Yellowstone Park, Russia, and of course, Iceland. It's Iceland where we get the name geyser, meaning gush fall. So everyone in the first three rows who came nice and early, you might get a little wet. But don't worry, by the time the water's reached you, it's a cool 15 degrees. It just might feel a bit soapy to the touch. So some fun facts about Lady Knox. Her reservoir can hold about 30,000 gallons of water and she can go up to heights of 20 meters in the air and can last for an hour. 